Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 Online video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to do this frozen money glitch, but we're going to be doing the apartments glitch, okay? We're going to be showing you how to make money off of the apartments. So if you guys just want to see how to buy everything for free and how to save it and stuff, vehicles, that link will be down in the pinned comment, okay? So check the description and the pinned comment for that. But in this video, we're showing you how to do the apartments glitch. You can make up to $2.5 million in your bank every time. So no selling cars, no nothing like that. You'll get this money in your bank every single time. All right. The only requirement, if you want to make the 2.5 million, you need at least 1.1 million in your bank, but you're not spending any of it whatsoever. You just need that in your bank. Okay. So the only startup money is just that. Now, if you don't have 1.1 mil at least, you can still do the glitch. You just can't buy as expensive of apartments. All right. When you have the frozen money, if that's unclear, it'll be clear once I get to that point. But I just wanted to let you guys know, okay? So, at this point, what you see me doing is I loaded up the game and I was in story mode. Before you do this DM glitch for frozen money and props, you need to go online first. A lot of people are messing up on this because they're forgetting to go online before they actually do the glitch. So, go into an invite-only session with your online character and then you want to go ahead and leave back to story mode. That's very important. A lot of you people that might get stuck in the clouds... And, uh, oh, and I'm not sure if I said this, this is PS4 only, alright? PS4 only, you know, no Xbox, I'm sorry. This is not possible on Xbox at the moment. So, right now, this is just for you PS4 guys. Sorry, everybody that's on Xbox, but that's just the way it is, alright? So, let's get on with this. Now I'm in story mode. What I'm going to be doing is going ahead and entering director mode. So, open up the interaction menu, and then you want to enter director mode. Now, in my last video, I showed how to actually put down all the props. I'm using the scene that I created from the last video, okay? So like I said, it's it's a really good idea to check out the first video before you check out this one. This is like a part two, all right? The first one is a part one, obviously. So I definitely recommend check out that first video before you look at this one and everything will be clear, okay? So now once we venture director mode, we're here at the DM trailer. As any story mode character, it doesn't matter. All you wanna do is hit enter director mode, all right? And now we're gonna walk into the city as Michael, Trevor, Franklin, doesn't matter who you are, it just needs to be a story mode character, any one of them will work. So at this point, we will be loading in here, and I'm just going to simply proceed to load up the scene that I created in the last video, okay? So, uh, for some reason, I always end up falling right here, but open up your interaction menu, go down to scene creator, and then the screen should go black, and then it's going to load up all the scenes, okay? So I'm going to go to scene three, that's the one I made in the last video. Now, it's really easy to create these scenes. You just put these big stunt tracks all over the city. Put 50 of them all over the city, and you're going to see what I mean right here. So you see these big stunt tracks? They're all over the city, all right? So then you want to go to Place Props, and you see I have 50 of them, and they're just put everywhere, all right, all around the city, all right? And then you save that scene, okay? All right, guys, so now we're going to continue on and actually do the glitch, okay? So hover over Place Props. doesn't matter if you're on the ground or on top of one of the props right now. really doesn't matter. But what you need to do is go ahead and get a recent activity ready. Everybody on PlayStation should know about recent activities, all right? If you go over to activities, you can go to your own or your friends. Anything that has to do with a bounty or purchasing a vehicle, things like that that happen online, they will have this option where it says Start GTA Online. Hover over that, double tap the PS button to come back to the game. Okay, now we're on Place Props. Select Place Props and hover over a prop that you're not on or near. Now... We're going to get ready to start to do the glitch now, okay? This, I'm putting in slow motion. Here we go. Triangle. Double tap the PS button. Start GTA Online. Decline the alert. Now we're st we should be frozen with no menu right now. So at this point, you want to continually spam down an X until we get the menu back. Remember, every time we hit a black screen, we're double tapping the PS button and declining the recent activity alert, okay? So at this moment right now, we're just waiting. We are just waiting right now for the, uh, for the menu to come back. We're still spamming down an X continuously right now. So the menu is going to be coming back. We're going to hit down an X, black screen, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert, hit X again, black screen, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Now we're falling, wait about one second, and then hit pause, okay? Now, you do want to wait a little bit while you're falling, okay? You don't want to press pause right away. Now, if you press pause too quickly or you just mess up, you're going to see I was on pause. It went left to Rockstar Editor. Now I'm going to hit Director Mode. Select Yes on this. Right away, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, and decline the alert. 
If you fail, you're going to end up back at the trailer like this. That's okay. I usually fail my first time. If you keep doing this over and over again, then that means that you're pressing pause too early. You need to wait just a little bit longer, okay? And this is to prove to everybody that this glitch takes 30 seconds literally to hit, all right? You're going to see right here. I can't even explain uh, you know, the glitch while I'm actually doing it. But you're going to see how fast I actually hit the glitch and how fast you have to be. Okay, so this is exactly what I did just in real time with a timer on there to show you how fast you can actually hit this. Okay, so we're just doing everything. Every time I get a black screen, I'm recent activity and declining the alert. So look at that. This is all real motion right here. All right, real time, no fast forwarding, no slowing down, nothing like that. Okay, boom, glitched out. So you see how fast you have to do this, guys? It's a 30 second glitch, no lie, okay? But you can get good at this, practice makes perfect. If you've done it right, you shouldn't be at the casting trailer. You should be right here over on top of one of the props frozen. Now, what you need is you need a friend to actually go into a job for you in a public session. So have a friend in a public session, have them go into a job, and then they need to send you an invite into that job, okay? So right now I have my friend, unknown, he's sending me an invite to a job from a public session. I'm gonna press pause, go to the friends tab, and I'm gonna find his name. You see where it says accept game invite? I'm gonna go ahead and hit X on that. I should get game details over the pause menu, and then go ahead and select yes. Now I should load up into the clouds, and you're actually gonna be stuck here in the clouds, okay, unless you suspend app. So I recommend wait about 10 seconds. That's what I do here in the video. I'm waiting 10 seconds, and then once 10 seconds is up, I'm gonna go to the PlayStation you know, dashboard, open Spotify and suspend app. You can trim a clip to suspend app, it's up to you. When you come back, you should get that alert. Go ahead and just hit continue. You're gonna get quitting session at the bottom right that will eventually change into joining GTA Online and you will join into an online session, okay? And you will bring props online and you'll have frozen money. Now, those of you that are complaining that the glitch is patched because it, when it says join friend, or join game, you know, it says you can't join somebody from director mode. You, you Guys, you can't join people from director mode. This is the way around it. You need an invite. Okay, so unpause the pause menu and then go back to it and the game invite should be there. All right? So as you see right now, I'm spawning online. I have all my props that I made in that, you know, in creator. My phone is all screwed up. And then this is how you check if you have frozen money. You want to make sure you check if you have frozen money before you start buying a bunch of stuff so you don't actually lose anything. So go ahead and go to your inventory, go to ammo, and you see right there I'm purchasing ammo and nothing is being taken out at the top right. I still have all my money. My money is successfully frozen and I have props online, okay? So now what you want to go ahead and do actually is buy all the most expensive apartments. So you remember I said you want to have at least 1.1 million to make the most money off this glitch? That's because the most expensive apartment you see is 1.1 million. So you're going to go ahead and buy the most expensive apartment and just buy them, buy the most expensive ones and just put them in each slot. So you see I have all these slots. I'm just going to buy the most expensive in slot one. No money was taken out. So now I'm just going to back out, go to the second most expensive. You know, all the, the Eclipse Towers are the three most expensive. I'm going to buy this one and I'm going to put it in slot two and so on guys. I'm just buying the next most expensive apartment and putting it in the next slot. So you want to buy the six most expensive apartments you can. All right. If you don't have a lot of money, buy what you can. Okay. Just buy the most expensive ones that you can, and you're going to see why. So after Eclipse Towers, it's all these stilt apartments that are really expensive. So you want to just keep buying all of these. Okay. So 800 grand, the more expensive, the more money you're, you're going to end up making. Okay. So right here in slot four, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the, uh, the fourth most expensive apartment. And then I'm just going to keep going, guys. I want to show you exactly how I'm doing this so that there's no confusion. All right. Next most expensive, 762 grand. I'm going to buy that in slot five. And then now the last most expensive apartment that I can purchase in these slots would be this one right here. Not that one. That one's free. Okay, there we go. 727 grand. And I'm going to put that one in slot six. And you see none of my money was taken away. So you see that you just need the initial amount of money for the most expensive one. Okay. So at this point right now, what you need to do is find a helicopter, go to the helipad, go to the hospital, wherever you need to fly to the trailer to unfreeze your money. This is the location of the trailer right here. Okay. Where you just saw me mark, go ahead and fly the helicopter over there. Go into passive mode. I recommend so nobody shoots down your helicopter. Okay. You just want to get there nice and easy, you know, no complications whatsoever. 
So at the moment, I'm just flying over to my marker where the uh, where the trailer is in the sky. Make sure to get some height while you're in that location, and you see eventually you'll hit the trailer and you'll end up just going invisible for a little bit, and the helicopter disappears and you fall down from the ground. All right, just parachute down, land safely, and here we go. Our money should be unfrozen, so I'm actually going to go ahead and check that right now. So. Money is unfrozen, as you can see. I just got money taken away. Now this is where we make all of our money. You're gonna see me make $2.5 million so easily, it's not even funny, okay? So I'm gonna go, ho go over here to Dynasty 8, and I'm gonna buy the cheapest properties I can in those same slots. So you see, I'm gonna buy them all in these expensive slots. So I buy it in that one. I just got $525,000 in the top right. Look at that. So now buy the next cheapest apartment you can. This one costs 26000 so I'm going to go ahead and buy this one, and I'm, I'm going to put it in slot two. So when I do that, $426,500 right there. This money is going straight into your bank. No selling cars, no nothing. Next cheap, next cheapest apartment, buy it in slot three. Just got $465,000. Easy money, guys, right in the bank, okay? And just continue this. That's all you see me doing right here. Another $368,000. Obviously, you make more money off of the more expensive ones. That's natural, okay? So I'm now in the fifth apartment, just made $349,500. Now for the last one, Biden slot six, I'm gonna make $334,500. So in total, guys, I counted it up exactly. I made 2.4 something million dollars, all right? So I rounded it up to 2.5. But two and a half million dollars every time you do this glitch is not bad and it's money directly into your bank account okay so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want to see how to purchase like deluxos and other vehicles and stuff check out my first video that i made i will leave that link down in the pinned comment and the description okay but that's the frozen money glitch using the apartments to actually make money off of really really good because you don't have to worry about selling vehicles okay it's money right in the bank really safe so that's gonna be it for me guys my name is roll easy Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We have just gotten 25,000 subscribers. I have not made the next road goal yet, but I will soon. I'll make an announcement on that. I hope everybody has a good day. Shout out to Far Crew and Savage Crew for making this glitch. Peace out, everybody.